Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by Radioactive Book. Today it's Tic Tac Tuesday and as Halloween is approaching this week, I thought it would be a great time to do the Spooktacular Book Tag. And this tag was originally created by A Thousand Lives and I was tagged by Samantha from Novels and Nonsense. The first one is Trick or Treat, a book or series you'd consider a treat. Um, I'm going with the Peculiar here, or with the duology, the Peculiar and the Whatnot by Stefan Bachmann. I talked a little about the two books already on my channel on various occasions. They have a middle grade steampunk kind of feel. It's a mix up atmospherically between, I say, Dickens and Harry Potter. It's very whimsical. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a really light, read. It's a world you can really fall into and especially for a time like this when um, uh, the weather is cold outside it's um, a really cozy read. Next up we have favorite paranormal read. For me that would be Soulless by Gail Carragher. I'm not a huge reader of horror or paranormal stories. They border on, on what I read, but I'm yeah not a, a huge horror reader, so I t uh, took um, Solus by Gail Carriger, which is a um, steampunk series, but also a paranormal romance, and I really enjoyed um, the humor and atmosphere in the um, novel, and yeah, it has, uh, it deals with werewolves and it has vampires, so it is a paranormal series. 3. A book with orange on the cover. Um, therefore I take Dead House Gates by Stephen Erickson. It's the second book in his Malazan of the Fallen series and as you can see with all the sand on it and yeah, it's kind of orange. Number 4 is pick a book with a mysterious or creepy cover. Um, I'm going to pick The Strange Affair of Spring Hill Jack because um, this was actually a total cover buy for me because I love this atmosphere. If you look at the cover you can see the fog uh, going on and the really creepy kind of depiction of Spring Hill Jack on the cover and that really drew me in and I so wanted it to be a good book and then when it turned out to be an amazing book I was really, really glad because, yeah, it was a total cover buy for me. And it's one of my favorite, like, spooky, creepy covers. And number five, who would one of your favorite characters dress up for Halloween? Oh boy. Picking a favorite character and then having him dress up, that took me actually a lot of time to think, think of it. But I'm going to tag, uh, to tag, yeah. I'm going to take Iskaral Pust, um, from the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. Iskaral Pust is a priest of shadow, and his, like, special thing about him, he's one of the more humorous characters by Stephen Erickson, is that he always says out loud what he's thinking. So we get a lot of scenes from him where he, uh, kind of addresses someone, and then after he said what he wants to say, he's like, haha, now I lied to him, I drew him in. Uh, he will never see now, uh, uh, see it coming now that I'm going to betray him. And everybody around him is like, uh, yeah, but you just said, and yeah, they will never know, uh, and, and stuff like that. And he's a very, um, yeah, humorous character. And uh, there are actually scenes where he, um, uh, steps in front of his god, the god of shadow, shadow throne, and does the same thing with the god. And the god is always like, okay, strange. And I could see it happen that Iskaral Prost would actually dress up as shadow throne, as his own god, uh, and confront him, and he would really like that idea. The other costume he would choose would might be a mule, and that is something you only understand if you read Stephen Erickson's Malazan Book of the Fallen. Because uh, if, you, if you did and you asked some of the readers, 
there will be some that will tell you that actually it's all about the mules in the series. So that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this spectacular book tag. As Halloween is approaching, I'm not going to tag anybody for this specific tag because uh, if I would tag someone now, they would only get to it like, yeah, uh, feel pressure to do it rather quickly or then it Halloween would have gone already and yeah, that wouldn't be fun at all. So I'm not tagging anyone for this. If you still want to do this and uh, squeeze it in right before Halloween, feel free to do so. But yeah, I'm not burdening anyone specifically with doing this right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, please look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.